the worst nightmare in, in Crooked River Ranch is a very large fire which is actually pretty far away still but it doesn't mean it can't get out of control but that's looking really bad so uh that's one of the bad parts about being in eastern uh, Oregon uh this is our biggest nightmare is a fire and this is obviously not the best camera for showing this but it definitely has us all concerned and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living channel. And uh, yeah, it's been a busy weekend. We took a day off from uh, recording. Uh, if you notice the propagator here, this is where we start our uh, seedlings. And these are little romaines, they're growing like crazy. Uh, but we thinned it out, thinned it out quite a bit. And uh, what happened to them? Well, they went from these little pucks right here to bigger pucks like this and uh, they uh, are now starting in the floating rafts which uh, which either some will stay there and then some will go out to the NFT and let's go take a look so it's another sparkling day here in Central Oregon and uh, yeah it's gorgeous but boy we've been dealing with the heat something fierce and so we have a couple of different systems here. We have tower systems uh, and um, they are, it's a non-return system. So uh, it gets fed nutrients every day to the strawberries. And uh, we do do a little bit of conventional growing over here. Uh, like you'll see, we have Walla Walla onions. Uh, those are purple beans. And we got some uh, zucchinis growing and then we have extra <laughs> I mean extra uh, tomatoes and everything here so yeah so we do a lot of conventional but we also do as I showed you before the towers we do NFT system which is a nutrient film technique <laughs> I think transfer one of the two anyway uh, where these are constantly flowing nutrients to our plants and then we also do some conventional corn but we do feed them nutrients through a, uh, a nutrient system I created to uh, really help a corn. And for those that follow the channel, as soon as I started that, I was worried because my corn looked a little yellow. Ever since I put the new nutrient system on it and feed them about every other day with nutrients from the hydroponics, uh, they're much greener now. So. Uh, I was very happy with the results of that. But here we are, we're coming up to the greenhouse right now and I'll show you where we put those plants. All right guys, welcome to the greenhouse. We've got a lot of a lot of things growing in here. We have cucumbers, we have beans, we have peppers, but most of all we have, and people uh, always ask us, we have Jet Star and Jet Setter tomatoes growing and only one big beef uh, plant over here now what's going on here is these are this is the dutch bucket system for the all these plants on the side and this is a floating raft system and once again it's floating on nutrients so we moved all of our butter crunch to one side and we put all of our new starters right here and uh there's a lot of turning of plants here so it's it gets dusty in here so the tops of these look a little dusty i apologize but uh we're constantly moving plants but uh we're very pleased with our tomatoes and one of the things we added to the uh, greenhouse this weekend is a new uh swamp cooler we're trying to cool down this this uh greenhouse and I think we got this one down to we're down to 90 degrees 
and uh, we were breaking over a hundred before but we put in a new uh, swamp cooler and uh, we might even put in a second one but uh, it seems to be helping and we're able to close down at least half of the sides we had the sides up a lot but it brings in a lot of uh, uh, critters and it brings in a lot of dust so uh, we also changed one of our fans to be an output so this one's sucking hot air out all day long so uh but yeah lots of uh lots of beautiful uh tomatoes here and uh look at look at the size of these yeah it's a big we're just uh kind of waiting for the point when they start turning and uh it won't be too much longer these are getting so high that we may have to start doing a tilt and lean so uh that's what we've been doing uh over the weekend and one last thing for those of you that know the saga about our tomato uh, potatoes uh we had beautiful potato plants and aphids attacked them we brought them outside believe it or not they're coming back we did uh harvest three of them and got lots of potatoes and they're really good by the way and uh but they're just small ones but the plants are coming back so we're very happy about that so we should get some larger potatoes too and once again uh i'm very happy about the corn the corn had a little bit of yellowness to it but as soon as we put the new uh fertilize system in here to do the corn i take a uh, master blend and I actually pump it into the uh, uh, we have a water system underneath and uh, it seems to be doing the trick and one last thing is we've had a little trouble with this NFT because of its size that uh, I had to increase the size of the pump to a 100 watt from a 60 watt to a hundred uh, watt which is around 1150 gallons per hour so it's running wonderful now so yeah and of course we've got the german shepherd that chases butterflies all day long so that's what's going on this weekend sherry is uh off taking care of her you know, we're also caregivers so sherry is going over to a mother's today to uh bring her a bunch of groceries and uh sherry also managed to uh mow our some of our lawns last night What's happening is because of the heat, our larger plots of, of grass have just not been growing anymore. It just stopped. So we uh, don't have to mow those right now. But uh, the ones here by the house, and, and our grass gets watered every day. We have our own water system. Um, anyway, we, uh, she got this all mowed up real pretty. Mow, uh, also uh, mowed the front of our house over near uh where the pond is and the rest of the grass has just kind of stopped growing and uh it doesn't bother us a bit so uh that's kind of the latest update um and uh yeah i think that's uh pretty much the biggest report so far that's one of the biggest moss i've ever seen he seems to be a little upset <laughs> Well, Bell will check them out. But uh, yeah, it's going to be another warm day here. This is the other part of the grass that Sherry mowed. Uh, it's quite shady in here. And uh, this grass grows quite aggressively. And so does the grass here at the pond. And uh, the lily pads are starting to grow. And we got our first, first lily. There's all two of them now. And a whole bunch coming. Here's what they look like. And uh, believe it or not, you can almost see our fish, but the water is a little cloudy. But I uh, just fed the fish and they're very happy campers. One of the last things I wanted to discuss with you is, since we're dealing with almost 90 to 100 degree weather every day, which is very unusual in Central Oregon, we had to reduce everything on the NFT right here because it's just too hot. So, however, Swiss chard, which I have Swiss chard right here. I've had two little Swiss chard plants 
just reproducing like crazy. So I do, if uh, you might have noticed in the uh, floating rafts, I've got six new Swiss chards coming, uh, growing up, which we'll add to this. The other solution we may have to put is a shade cloth over the top of this. And uh, we're kind of figuring out how we're gonna do that. But I did want to point out on this NFT with the uh, trellis system, as uh, we're actually kind of excited because we're getting a lot of different kinds of peppers. Um, one of the ones that we're getting is a lot of uh, banana peppers. Let me show you one right here. This little guy right here. Uh, we got jalapenos coming and we also have roasting peppers, uh, which will turn, haven't turned red yet, but here's what they look like right here, right there, a couple in here, a couple down here. So we're very excited to start getting the peppers. The green beans are struggling because of the heat. And we're hoping as they get more foliage, the more protection they'll have to themselves to produce lots of beans. Uh, the snap, uh, sugar peas here are just struggling with the heat and uh, I just don't know how they're gonna do. So uh, live and learn, this is our first year, but we did not expect such high temperatures uh, this early in the year. But in the center here, this is a conventional garden. We have lots of uh, purple beans growing and we're getting ready to harvest a lot of zucchini off of this one plant right here. Once again, these are all overflow tomato plants, which I kind of went a little crazy. I didn't think I'd have such a good survival rate, but uh, we do have a lot of uh, cherry tomatoes out here too. So yeah, that's the latest update on all the uh, hydroponic systems. And uh, yeah, so the pretty much an update. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And the guys, have a great day. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.